Hey everybody, my name is Zach and second name is Zach. Welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Last time we arrived here at Lavender Town and we had a quite of a spectacle. <laughs> and today we are going to continue on that well, after I heal up my Pokemon because uh, I was kind of scared that I have to trigger a student cutscene to even go to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> And we're also going to reach the reason why I actually wanted that Vulpix in the, in the first place. So because of that, I am going to switch Pidgeotto for that one... Uh, Pidgeotto for that Vulpix that we got a few days a few, uh, a little earlier ago. Where is the Vulpix? There's the Vulpix! There's my Vulpix and add it to my party instead of Pidgeotto. That's the rare, that's the Pokemon that I want to have with Parker. And, uh oh. Oh, wait, I just noticed that. We came all the, this way to Lavender Town on the boss's orders, but. Where in the world is this old man Fuji supposed to be? Uh, the place left is that spooky old Pokemon Tower, right? That's fine, but I couldn't get to the top because of that strange ghost getting in the way. Wow, well, we couldn't find an old man, but we at least found his Cubo. Well, let's get back to our hideout. At least we we'll have something to show for our trouble. Alright, let's head to the po Rocket Game Corner in Celadon City. Ma? I don't know if the little bit of Kobo wanted mommy. Your mommy is in the city. Come with us. We'll take you there. Mama! Now that's the sign. I think we better blast off. I just saw something awful. Did you see that thing rock a bucket of poor Kubo? It sounded like they were headed to the city, but they. They must be playing on where, taking the skull bone it is and selling it at a, at a high price. That's the reason why actually why in the act and um, in case you don't know what the story is behind uh, about Team Rocket and Cubo and and uh, Cubones and Marax, they want to get the skull heads they have. Want to cure around of like oh you're going to send me up Jigba. Uh, they want to uh, get their bones so that they can um, sell at a high price. That does sound horrible, but uh, oh, so fairy! You know, I've got something pink, right? I was close, but uh, not close enough. Boom! Oh, imagine that's a random move. Maybe you might have a random move. Quick attack, okay. Down to bubble. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, I actually don't know what uh, much you can find here because I know that oh, there are a lot of good Pokemon you can find here, including Arcanines. While here, I'm pretty sure the. But that's a version of the Pokemon, and then they can't even find like Arcanines and such here. So let me just have a look at that. Where you can find like nine tails here? Stop! Don't be so mean to my cliff fairy. Uh huh. Actually, uh, let's see. Yeah, you can find Arcanine. Oh yeah, you can find uh, nine tails here and Cadabras as well. Jigglypuff, I'm gonna have to deal with you. I can catch a lot of Pokemon around here, so buzz off. <laughs> the rare Pokemon in this lo in this location is of course Chansey. Well, you found a Kadabra. Did you seriously use Flash? 
See you there. I mean, I need to at least send something that doesn't that is not so easy. I know I could have like sent out the Venusaur, but I'm not one to do that. I do not want to do that. Oh, use a rock fly on me. Oh, making my mis uh, making like making my choice a mistake. Oh, aren't we funny? I'm gonna rock fly to my face. And life goes down. Great. Uh, but I believe that's the only trainer I actually want to fight, but. I should just send this up this guy and I'm gonna heal up my thing because I, I, I know it's just horrible. I'm gonna use my last revive because I need to level up uh, uh, Blake because it will be soon become a, a Charizard soon. I will at least show you at least something else. You didn't buzz off. Five Ultra Balls. There's Abra. Oh, Abra's. They are pretty rare po They're pretty difficult Pokemon to actually get. Yeah, because they keep teleporting, they're pretty difficult to even hunt because they keep running away from you. So, Vulpix, Zigglypuff, Pidgeotto. Really yeah. All kinds of Pokemon. Oh wait, I need to at least show you these guys up. They're pretty. Di Let's play a game. They're called gamblers. Yeah, gamer stand. I am gonna say right now what their deal is. Instant. KO moves. Yes, they will focus entirely on moves that is a guaranteed KO. As an instant KO. Literally one hit KO move. They're and they keep doing that. <laughs> and it sucks. But they keep gambling with instant KO moves. Ugh, it's just disgusting. Track came up short. Yay! <laughs> Charizard! <laughs> Charizard's data will be added to the Pokedex. When this Pokemon expels a blast of super fire, the red flame of its tip of its tail burns more intensely. Charizard wants a moving attack? Sure, I'll let you. I have fire screen, for God's sake. Though the best flying type move that you can actually learn is indeed the uh, Air Slash. Uh, let's make sure, let's uh, get uh, charged on, but let's just say right now, 
you fly on him and he's actually ridiculously fast as well. Right now, I'm going in here pretty much without any Pokemon besides Eevee. So, find the next ac accuracy. Next defense. We're going to at least go, we're going to get yet another rare Pokemon, which is an, it's also a new one as well.
fucking finally! 37 minutes! It took me finally to find this thing. Raspberries. Go. No. You are going to get caught, Mr. Porygon. Oh, you will not play that game with me, Porygon. You will not. So I'm not gonna play the game with me. You will be caught. You will be caught right now. Nope. I said, Porygon, you will be caught. Porygon, don't be a dick to me right now. You! Force my hand, Porygon. No, no. There we go. You force my hand. There we go. Took me almost 40 minutes to find this thing. The Pokemon that people anticipate and can fly into space. None has managed to defeat yet, however. <laughs> Finally, and I have so many uh, uh, Vulpix that I don't know what I can do with. So, I have not only have my thing, the effect, yes, go there. Okay, so I will uh, see if I can get some good, uh, good thing about this. I'm Madame Saladon. I'm the one who's looking for this can see you in Oh, no, it's not still here. Pokemon Roads. Which is an amazing fruit in Tether. Tony Philpix, yes. Uh, the one I have in a party. It may be yours, please. This is the Pokemon that I want to have on my, um, on my team. Which is an Alolan Vulpix. It's an Ice Fairy type. And I at least want to use one of the... Um, the... Um, Alolan Vulpix, and I of course want to choose my favorites. Which is the Vulpix. Which is are ice types, unlike Vulpix and Kanto. Let's see which one I got. 20 level 27, check it summary. Max nature. Hmm. It's in defense. Sounds, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, and also switch actually check its moose as well. It has confused ray, a ruby, dazzling gleam, an ice beam. Oh, it has the two moves it doesn't do need. Uh, let's actually also check its other things because I do need to be the Vulpix. I don't know how you can get an Ice Stone, but it should be really good. Let's see if I can get a Lolan. So right now, the best. This is pretty much the best thing I can have. I can like evolve it like right away. Uh, but if I evolve it, what can I get if I evolve it right away? Into Night Tales. Okay. Let's go. Lauren. Hmm. Nothing much. So, pretty much, this is the best moveset I can give it, and I do need to give. Uh, so, so, I also need to search where I can get the Ice Stone because this is a Pokemon that evolves through an item and not for a move. Uh, evolutionary item, the Ice Stone. Oh, in, Pokemon, in the Pokemon Tower. Let me do that first. I'm going to go after getting that thing first. I want to get that first. 
uh, the ice stone is found on is it on the second floor? No, is it on the third floor? No, is it on the fourth floor? Yes, it's in the floor four before the uh, room really thing. It's in the bottom space beyond the purified space. So let's go there first and get our nine tails. That's where I want to end it off there. Oh, be uh, because also, uh, also I should uh, put up our friend up first. Oh, and also nickname it. Uh, oh, I can't even take the name. Uh, move the Pokemon right up in front. I like it as a fire sounding, but it's an ice type Pokemon because it's originally a fire type. And they try to use this from the. From, from Pokemon Gen 6. From Gen 6. <laughs> so let's get the. Uh, so pretty much in the purifying spots. Okay. You find a rest there, buddy? A silver pine berry! Oh, we. <laughs> Oh, you're, you're doing a great job right now. <laughs> Enjoying the warmth of the sun. Interesting fact for an ice type. <laughs> Let's pass by here so we can get to a lavender town and get to get the ice stone uh, much quicker. Should be a really interesting one. Okay, so bottom left area beyond the purified space. Okay, okay that's this. That's it. Oh, it's just, uh, you can see one of those ghosts actually in the background too. Run away, buddy. Bottom left. Oh, it's right there. I will bell just because I can. Zombies! <laughs> Chandler Karina sends out haunting. Sacrifice on a fairy type Pokemon. Oh no, it's, not, it's just a pure ice type. It becomes a fairy type when it evolves. <laughs> That's why that's uh, yeah, it's just a pure ice type. Ghastly. I don't see a world in, I see a world being in action, but I cannot do that because it's a crit there. <laughs> Apparently, the Olympics also really want to evolve. Huh? I have to fail against this one. Up, and I should actually cut a lot of my time. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice, that looks really beautiful. 
Ah, well, I, I'm actually in the purifying spot, so... Uh, Pokemon is a bit defensive, so that's really good. We have one more battle with this, this one more gas here, and then we're going to uh But I don't know I should not do it, but uh, I can because of what I'm doing. Uh, so the 8th, that means it's going to evolve soon. After we battle, I can already defeat this one. And then it means I can get the alone form of Knight of uh, Mara. Oh, I do need to end it off. Uh, I guess I, my answer is in the end, so I need to end it off soon. Woo! Three Pokeballs. And keep on my nine tails. Nine tails. Into a, uh, a, into a Marowak. Evolutions, evolutions everywhere. <laughs> there we go, there's a Marowak. Into a Marowak. Small and weak, this Pokemon dab with its bone club has grown more vicious over the ages. And it wants to learn sword stands upon evolving. Wow. Got the ice stone. And you know what we're gonna do. Yet another evolution! Publix <laughs> evolved into Ninetales. Ninetales, a lone form, ice fairy type. It lives in mountains perpetually covered in snow and is revered as a deity incarnate. It appears draped in a blaze in, bl in a blizzard. There we go. Oh, whoa! I can't get past that thing. But I don't need to worry about it since I can go out of here. I will see you next time for when we are going to going to rescue that poor cube, that poor cube. See you guys then. Also, gonna challenge the gym as well. <laughs>